Hi, I'm Jody Mitchell, and I'm working on some of my beaded jewelry today. Um, lately, what I've been doing is finding different components at thrift markets or flea markets or garage sales. I don't have a design in mind before I start, so I, I make it up as I go along. Um, and then I try to incorporate interesting pieces like this. Um, these right here is uh, Roman glass that's thousands of years old that was found in excavation sites in the Middle East. Um, I'm also, whenever I'm out, I'm looking for something different that hasn't been used in jewelry. Um, I was at an antique mall and I found these, they said circa 1916 old stock, never used right and left heel plates. I just come home and start playing with them and um, this one's, I'm still working on it, but I like the contrast of the polished pearl with the rough metal. Um, or I'll get the whole thing done and I'll say, you know, this bead really needs to go there and that one needs to go there. And so I'll redo them over and over, which probably drives a lot of people crazy, but I've been told that's the difference between an artist and a craft person. Uh, first met Davo at the Scarab Club through a mutual friend, and I've been very interested in African beads before that. <clears throat> I found out there's an African bead museum in Detroit, and I had never been to it, so that was on my radar. And then we met, and um, I think we could tell right away we were kindred spirits. Yes. How which the beads are like magic to us, and there's so much culture and history behind them that um, they're not just a way to adorn your body. They're much more meaningful than that. So there was a, one of my problems as an artist is finding the kind of people who would appreciate the kind of beads I use. Um, <clears throat> so the beads that what you said the 1700s. Yeah, these beads were used when uh, they traded with the uh, native to this country for Manhattan. These were the, the ambassador beads that are Lewis and Clark beads. These are some of those beads that were used. Dabble knows how to get me to buy beads, and they say, they don't make these anymore, you can't get them anymore. Right. <laughs> that piques my interest, it's like, oh. 